Hello and welcome to Jerez, the penultimate round of the Euro Formula Open Championship. Last time out in Monza, Harrison Scott took the title with his 10th victory of the season. But there is still a lot to race for. Who's going to finish second and third in the championship and who will be crowned rookie champion? Well, this weekend we'll have two more races that will help us find the answers to those questions. So let's take a look at the very best of the action. Scott, who led the charge the first turn, a similar accident bogged down from third on the grid and got swamped by those behind. It meant that Scott led from De Francesco and Troitsky as the field safely negotiated the first corner. Plenty of frantic battling on the first lap of the race as everybody was looking to gain ground on a circuit which can be very challenging to overtake on. Unfortunately for Thiago Vivacqua and Ludovico Laurini, they tangled, brought out the safety car both cars were stuck in the gravel trap. That served to bunch the field up. Once we got going, there were some great fights throughout the field, not least a battle between Ben Hinge and the Insima Laxanen that lasted for several laps. Eventually, Laxanen able to pick his way past Hinge with a beautiful move into the hairpin down the back straight. Then the safety car came up once more after Daniel Liu was left beached. Late on, Hinge the had to defend from charging Elizabeth Martinez front of the field, Harrison Scott stretched the field and was able to secure his 11th victory of the season. The RP Motorsport Harrison Scott dominance continuing in Jerez with Devlin De Francesco finishing second and top rookie ahead of Nikita Troitsky. Celebration once more for Harrison Scott. <laughs> It's really tough here this weekend, obviously, following the uh, GP3 and the F2 rubber. Um, it's kind of changed changed the car a lot, but um, really happy with, with obviously qualifying this morning was tough as well with the red flag in between, um, well, on, on the good run, so it was a bit kind of compromised then, but no, to, uh, to get the win out there, nice and hot, and uh, yeah, no, it feels, feels brilliant. Scott leading away from pole position once more as Nikita Slot Troitsky slotted into second and Devlin De Francesco claiming third as the pack charged towards turn one for the first time. Behind there was plenty of jostling for position, they all made it through cleanly, although Matthias Yorio and Ben Hingley had a difficult first lap, both of whom had to pit in for repairs. That cast them somewhere adrift at the rest of the field. And Lou also had a race of adventures, including that huge moment coming out of Turn 5. There were some great battles to be found throughout the field, not least the one for fourth between Yanni Fitcher and Elizeo Martinez, the German, capitalising on a mistake from the Spaniard as they came down the back straight. Meanwhile, the battle for second and rookie honours was very tight between Nikita Troitsky and Devlin De Francesco, Canadian pursuing Troitsky throughout the course of the race to no avail. Meanwhile, Ludovico Laurini had a good charge up through the tail of the field to that move on Daniel Liu. Harrison's got it was the 12th victory of the season, a clean sweep of the weekend, two pole positions, two fastest laps and two race wins in Jerez. More celebration for the RP Motorsport team. For Nikita Troitsky, second place and the rookie win, enough to give him the rookie title with two races to spare. Devlin De Francesco completing the podium. Anybody able to stop Scott in Barcelona? Unbelievable race. Uh, Managed to get off the line really well, and um, yeah, just from then I just pushed 100% the whole way, and uh, the car underneath me was brilliant. Um, obviously, the work that Carlos put in over the weekend is it was tough coming here with obviously the new the new uh, tarmac um, made it tricky, but no, the the car just got better and better the whole weekend, and uh, yeah, no, brilliant, brilliant result.